Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Action Figure Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Hasbro Star Wars 3 3 quarter inch scale, the fifth brother Inquisitor from Star Wars Rebels. Packaging has a portrait of the Inquisitor on the side. You can see the figure prominently displayed within the packaging along with his combined accessory. Back of the package shows us a couple other figures that are available in this line. We've already taken a look at Admiral Akbar, And then for the description, it says, a towering presence, the fifth brother Inquisitor is tasked to hunt down the rebels by Darth Vader himself. A man of few words, he uses his intimidating physicality and brute strength to try and best the rebel crew and capture the elusive Jedi. So this is the second Inquisitor we've gotten. First, we got the Grand Inquisitor uh, a couple years ago, and uh, now we're finally getting another one. So let me go ahead and get him opened, and then we'll take a closer look. All right, you guys, and here is the fifth brother out of the box. Now, I've never been a huge fan of this character design ever since we first saw it. I think it was in season two. I just don't think it looks like that great. It, it just kind of looks to me like kind of like a colonial style costume, you know, like he's got like that Quaker style hat that he's wearing. It's just kind of a weird thing. And his characterization in the show isn't that great. He just kind of comes across as a, a thug or a bully. Um, and in fact, the whole Inquisitor thing isn't very well discussed in the in the show at all. Like they don't really say what the Inquisitors are for. Uh, we know they work for Vader and uh, we know they use the dark side, but we don't really know like too much about how they were trained or where they came from, things of that sort. Uh, other than what Dave Filoni and, you know, some of the cast have said um, outside of the show. But I think that this was one of the weakest points of Rebels is that they just didn't give us a whole lot of explanation about the Inquisitors and what their background is and, you know, how many of them there are. Uh, we know that this is the fifth brother, so presumably there's multiple Inquisitors. I don't really know. Uh, but anyway, looking at the figure itself, uh, this is what it looks like up close. I don't think it looks that great. Not just because I'm not a huge fan of the character design, but it just looks kind of blank, kind of empty. Like in the show, his eyes are pretty much like that. I mean, they're, they're basically just like white. There's no pupils or anything. It doesn't really translate that well for a figure like it should have had more of this reflective sort of quality to it and unfortunately it, it just doesn't something to just make the eyes stand out a little bit more it really needed that whether that be like some glossy paint or some sparkly sort of paint uh, it just needed a little bit more to separate the eyes from the rest of the face because they, they get kind of lost in that coloration since the eyes are very similar in color to the rest of the face um I mean, other than that, it looks okay. I don't think it looks like all that great. There's the top of the hat, got a little bit of silvery sort of detail to the center of it. The rest of the costume looks all right. There's like these um, designs there on his torso. He's got this belt buckle that kind of looks like one of those uh, license plate type screws where, you know, you get a coin and you untwist it. On uh, the back of it, you can see the other side of his shoulder armor there. He's got the Imperial insignia on both of his shoulder pads. Um, very simplistic. It's really not uh, that detailed, which is okay. I mean, it's a Rebels figure. I don't expect it to have all that much detail to it, but I think it should have been a little bit better, especially in the facial area. Uh, coloration, very simplistic. Um, very, very simple figure for sure. And that's definitely in line with the other Rebels figures that we've gotten. Uh, in terms of articulation, he has a silver here at his head and uh, moves back and forth all right. You can't really do anything else with it. Um, he's got silvers at both of his shoulders, but you can't move them all that much because of his shoulder pads. He's got silvers at both of the thighs and they do move more than you would expect, almost 90 degrees. And uh, that's basically all you're gonna get here, but you know, it's par for the course. So of course the Inquisitor comes with his lightsaber and it's the same double bladed disc style saber that uh, all the Inquisitors seem to have. And uh, it's got some decent paint detail to the hilt. Doesn't look bad. The blades are very thin. It is a little bit warped and that's mainly due to the way that it is placed inside the packaging, which uh, I really wish Hasbro would figure this out once and for all. Uh, it really sucks when you take something out of the packaging brand new and it's already warped just because they couldn't figure out a better way to place it in there. Um, the blades are a very nice shade of red. I think for the most part, it, it looks quite good. It's very similar to the one that the first Inquisitor figure came with. The Inquisitor also comes with this combine accessory. Um, I really couldn't tell you what it is. <laughs> a lot of these look like garden tools. I mean, this kind of looks like one of those garden tools where you, you know, it's got a claw and you just go pick things up in your backyard. Um, can you hold it? Yeah, looks like you can. 
yeah, you can put it in his hand like that. But, I mean, come on, is that necessary? It, it just makes him too top heavy, so he can't really hold it very well. Um, yeah, I mean, these suck. Hasbro, we don't want these anymore. We'd rather save a buck, so just don't include nothing or include something better or include more accessories or, hey, how about this? Brilliant idea, more articulation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Hasbro Star Wars three and a quarter inch scale, the fifth brother Inquisitor from Star Wars Rebels. All in all, I think it's an okay figure. It certainly could have been better. The paint applications, primarily in the facial area, could have been better just so you could bring out his eyes a little bit more. From a sculpting standpoint, it's pretty much on par with what we've seen in this show. The coloration of the costume looks to be pretty accurate. The lightsaber accessory is nice, though the combine thingamajiggy here that's a waste. I will say that it is very nice to have more figures from Star Wars Rebels because Rebels so far has been extremely underserved in terms of figure and toy options. And if I were a kid growing up with Star Wars Rebels, I would wonder where are all the figures? Where's Hera? Where's Sabine? Figures that have been released, but you know, haven't been in circulation for some time now and uh, were even hard to come by when they were around. So they really need to start repacking some of those figures, make more Rebels figures. Season three is coming later this year. Year, so, you know, here's hoping that they get some more of them in circulation because I know I would buy them and I know a lot of you would buy them and uh, no doubt the kids would love them too. All right, my friends, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for the latest news and updates. And as always, I want to thank you for watching Victoria's Cantina. Till next time, my friends. Bye-bye.